make my life is a miracle. Every child has a story of, of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story. Hi kids! Hi kids! How are you? How are you? Coco, I just asked them that. Coco, I just asked them that. I know you're a type of parrot, Coco, but it doesn't mean you have to act like one. I know you're a type of parrot, Coco, but it doesn't mean you have to act like one. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Come and play. Come and play. Play, play with, with Katie, Katie and Coco. That's, That's the, the way. Get ready, let's go. Get ready, let's go. Really, Coco? The one thing you we say together you don't say. Silly bird. Get ready, let's go! Flying through the air, we're going to go down. Let's go, so let's go, Uh, where are you up to? You and I together. You and I together, me and my friends. Friends that help you every day. Katie and Coco. Come and play. Play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together. Meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us every day. Katie and Coco. Play and sing. Pray and bring. You and I, we do our thing. It's Katie and Coco. You know, Coco, I think I'm going to give you permission to be a parrot just one more time while we do the tongue twister from last time. How does that sound? How does that sound? I take that as a good. I take that as a good. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Okay, kids, how would you like to be a parrot with Coco while we do the tongue twister from last time? Are you ready? Any noise, a noise, an oyster. Any noise, a noise, an oyster. But a noisy noise, a noise an oyster more. But a noisy noise, a noise an oyster more. Any noise, a noise an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise an oyster more. Any noise, a noise an oyster, but a noisy noise, an oyster more. Bravo! Good job, parrots. I give you permission to be parrots every time we do a tongue twister. Then, with the help of our friends and being parrots, you'll be good at the tongue twisters in no time. Yeah, thanks, Katie. But now let's take a break with the story, though. Good plan. Get ready, let's go! Coco, it's time to study. Coco, it's time to study. Coco, it's time to study! Oh, he's not listening at all, is he? Can you help me? Ready, we're gonna, we're gonna call him together. Coco, it's time to study. Okay, I've got an idea. Coco, I've got some crackers. What? Crackers? What? Uh, see, we all have people who tell us to do what sometimes, don't we? Our parents, our teachers, our friends. But how much do we listen to them? Sometimes we find ourselves only listening to things we want to hear and ignoring the rest. Like, you might listen to your mum when she says to come and eat dinner because you're really hungry, you've been waiting and waiting for dinner to be ready. But then later on when she tells you to get ready for bed, you take a bit longer to do what she says because you want to stay up longer. Or sometimes you listen to some people but not to others. Like, if your teacher tells you to stop talking and do your work, you do it without complaining. But when your mum tells you to get ready for school, you moan and groan about before doing it because you're not afraid to be upset in front of her. Admit it, we've all done something like this before. What do you reckon? Coco's not a very good listener, is he? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. Yes, sometimes I'm not a good listener at all. <laughs> That's all right, Coco. We're all the same. But who is the most important person to listen to? Your parents? More important than your parents. Your grandma? even more important than your grandma and your grandpa. Well, who then? God. Oh, uh, yeah. That was going to be my next guess. I'm sure it was. Wait, God is more important to listen to than our parents? He certainly is, Coco. 
Now, most of the time, what our parents tell us to do and is what God wants us to do. Because God gave us parents to look after us and they do the best they can. But sometimes God's plan for us and our parents' wishes aren't always the same. This happened for my friend, Catherine of Siena. What did her parents want her to do? They wanted her to marry her, the husband of her sister who had died. What did God want her to do? God wanted her to stay unmarried so she could give her life fully to him. So what did Catherine do? She listened to God. She also didn't want to get married. And after lots and lots of praying, her parents finally realised that what she wanted was what God wanted. That's good. What happened to Catherine after that? Did she keep listening to God? She listened to God for the rest of her life. Almost everything she did, she was done because God wanted her to do it. What kind of things did she do? Well, she gave many things to the poor and helped sick people. She eventually began to travel around Italy to help spread peace where there was war and help the church become strong where it had become weak. And she persuaded people to fight for God. She didn't only help people who were sick in the body either. She helped people whose souls were sick. One time, she visited a poor prisoner and helped him to turn back to God. Then when he died, she saw his soul being carried up to heaven. But Katie! Yes, Coco? How did she know that God wanted to do those things? Ah. Well, Catherine was given a special privilege. What was it? God gave her visions and told her what he wanted her to do. And she was able to speak with him. Wow, she was very lucky. Well, how do we know what God wants us to do if he doesn't speak to us like that? Ah. Well, sometimes it's hard to know. But if we keep praying and ask God to help us and give us an answer, then he'll lead us along the path he wants us to take, even if we don't fully know that it's the right one until a little later. What else did God ask Catherine to do? He asked her to write letters. What were they about? They mostly talked about how Catherine's love for God, how she prayed, how she thought, how she acted, so she would continue to grow in love for God. Love transforms a person into what the person loves, was one thing she wrote. That meant if she kept loving God, who is love, she would slowly become more like God himself. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Do you kids want to become more loving like God? I do, I do. So do I, Coco. Shall we ask St. Catherine to help us love God more like she did? Yes, yes. Can we ask her to help us listen to God too? I think I need to work on that. I think so too, Coco. Of course she can help us. She was really good at that. Do you know, she even helped the Pope to listen to God and told him to return to Rome from France where he'd been before. Coco amazing! Thank you, St. Catherine of Siena, for listening to God and showing us how to love him. Help us to listen to God as well, so we can follow the path he has made for us and grow in love for God and for others. So, is Catherine another awesome friend or what? Definitely, Katie! Definitely! 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 Coco amazing! Hey, that's my line! Can I share it? That's a buzz. Thanks. Are you guys ready to be parrots now? Are you guys ready to be parrots now? He's a natural, isn't he, kids? I guess that's one thing he's good at. Hey! Did I say hey, Mr. Cockatoo? Because I don't remember saying hey. And if I didn't say hey, you don't say hey. Got it. All right, I'll say it so you know how to do it and then you can repeat it in little bits. Okay. Lesser leather never weathered wetter weather better. Now, lesser leather. Lesser leather. Never weather. Never weather. Wetter weather. Wetter weather. Better. Better. Let's do that again. Lesser leather. Lesser leather. Never weathered. Never weathered. Wetter weather better. Wetter weather better. That parrot trick really works. I'm sure the kids are getting it a lot easier now that you're getting it better, Coco. You're welcome, kids. Yeah. Yeah. Craft. Craft. Get yeah. ready. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Are you kids ready to make some craft now? What about you, Coco? 
I'm excited. What are we making, Katie? Well, today we're going to be making some rings. Now, why do you reckon we're going to make rings? I don't know. Well, do you remember how our friend Catherine had visions of God? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, one time in her vision, Jesus gave her a special ring to remind her of his love for her. And so today, we're going to make some rings out of pipe cleaners, which are these. Oh. And they will remind us of Jesus' love for us. So I've made some already. I've got my one here with a heart and also one here with a cross. So we're going to make both of those. And I've got a blue and a pink one and also a green and a pink one, but you can use whatever colour you like. Wow, wow, Katie. Yeah, what's your favourite colours, Coco? I like the green and the pink one. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's start, shall we? So first of all, get your first two colours and you're going to cross them over the top like this. Then you're going to start twisting and that will make the colours intertwine with each other. See how this one, the colours are all twisted up together. Ooh. So that will make them stay together. Twist, twist, twist. And after a little bit, don't go all the way. After a little bit, test it on any of your fingers. I'm going to test it on this one. And wrap it around your finger like this. Twist it around. And these pipe cleaners are pretty strong because they've got bit, bits of metal in there, so they'll stay. Wherever you twist them, they'll stay there, very sturdy. Okay, so we've got that there. It's wrapped around our finger. Now we're gonna slip it off carefully, like this. And we're gonna start making the shape. So, you might need a bit of help with this part, but I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're gonna get the top here. This is gonna be the heart one. So we're going to twist it around like this to the bottom. So that makes half of the curve for the heart. And then we're going to do the same with the other side. Ready? Twist it around. And so they cross over at the bottom like that. And then we're going to do a bit of a twist there to keep them together. Awesome. So we've got our, the structure of the heart. Does that look like a heart to you, Coco? That looks cockle amazing. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Okay. So now we're going to twist them around each other. So we've got to twist them around again, and then we're gonna put them. So I've twisted it around the back of the heart like this. And so then you're just gonna twist it up the frame like this. So I'm gonna go down and then around again. Keep twisting around it until you get to the top. And so we've got one half of the heart. There we go. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to twist it across the two sections. And there we go. There is our another heart. And you can put it on your finger like this. And then you've got a heart, a heart ring. And it reminds Ooh. you of your love for Jesus. Oh, nice job, Katie. Yeah, thanks. You think it'll fit on my finger? Ah, uh, well, too bad you don't have any fingers, Coco. Aww. Maybe, maybe on one of your little, little toes there, ah. <laughs> or, uh, or on one of your bit, bits of crest at the top. Okay, so there's our heart. This one was a bit smaller. Um, now we're going to try the cross. Okay, so we're going to start out the same. So we're going to get them to cross over at the top. And you should be pretty familiar with this part now. Twisting them around like this, and then maybe a bit more. You might not need to do it for this one because your fingers might be a bit smaller. So I'm going to test it on my finger again. Twist it around and twist it to keep it secure, and then twist it off again. Oh, this one was a bit tight. Let's twist that off. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to start making the cross. So we're going to start with just one. So we're going to bend that downwards and then bend this one the other way. Okay, so that's it's pretty long now, but just wait and see. And this way, back again, the other way. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Back again this way. Now we're going to do back again this way, except and we do it, we're going to get it in the middle where it joins here and then we're going to twist it 
that way. So it goes across, so we get the arm of the cross. Then we're gonna do the same for this pink one. Twist it back again this way, and then get it at the midway point, and then twist it across for the other arm. Does that look done to you, Coco? Yeah, you look very good, Katie. Yeah, your arms, the arms must be pretty long. <laughs> So we're going to twist it around the back this time so we can keep these two bits together. There we go. Twist it around the back. So that was around the back there. And so now, look, our arm is shorter now. And then we're going to do the same for this one. So twist it across there. And then we just got these two last bits to twist into each other. So we're going to twist that back on itself. And then this last one again, twist it across this way. There we go, and there we have our cross. It's a bit, a bit of a fat cross, but that's okay. Any cross is nice. And then you can put it on your finger again. This one might fit on my pinky better. There we go, we've got a cross. Oh, Coco amazing. Coco amazing, I know, right? Now we're gonna remind us of how Jesus died on the cross because he loved us. Very nice, so there's all our pipe cleaner rings inspired by St. Catherine of Siena. And so we can have rings like she did. There we go. And so here are all of our rings, ready? I'll put them on, see how they look. Here we go. Do you reckon they look good, Coco? They look Coco amazing, can you? Yeah. So if you guys would like extra instructions on how to make these awesome cool rings, you can find them at swpals.org. And also, what else would we love to see them? Do we want to see them make their own? Yeah. Yeah. We'd love to see you guys make your own rings with any different colours or shapes or sizes you like. Oh. Take a photo of them, upload them on the same page, ask your mum and dad for help, and I hope you enjoy making them. Ah. Katie says, clap your hands. Katie says, jump up and down. Touch your toes. Coco, did I say Katie says? Ah! Ah, my listening really does need work. Yes, indeed. How do you like my rings? Ah, oh, they're the coolest rings I've ever seen. You're the coolest bird I've ever seen. And the kids are the coolest kids I've ever seen. No doubt about it, Coco. Katie says, repeat after me. Lesser leather. Lesser leather. Never weathered. Never weathered. Wetter weather better. Wetter weather better. Katie says, Let's say it all together. Lesser, Lesser leather, leather, never weathered, wetter weather, better. Wow, good listening, Coco. Wow, you didn't say it, Katie says it though. I know not to say it. Good job. All right, Katie says, let's say it all together another time. Ready? Lesser leather, leather never weathered, wetter weather, weather, better. Yay! Yay! High five. Yeah. Katie says, wave goodbye. See you next time, kids. See you next time, kids. St. Catherine of Siena, help us to listen. Ah. Come and play, play with Katie and Coco. That's the way, get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco, telling stories with Katie. You and I together, meeting my friends, friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. Help us every day. Katie and Coco, play and sing. Pray and bring you and I, we do our thing, it's Katie.